What is up guys, this is iUpdateOS and in this video we are going to be covering most of the changes found in iOS 7 Beta 4. There's a lot of changes to talk about, so let's get to it. As soon as you have booted up your device, you will notice two things immediately, or at least I did. There is a little right arrow telling you which way to slide to unlock your device that wasn't found in any of the previous betas. I think it's definitely helpful because a lot of people would have been confused because they didn't know which way to unlock their device from. Next, you will notice that the arrows for Notification Center and Control Center on your lock screen have been replaced with straight lines in order not to confuse anyone trying to unlock their device. When you're on your home screen and you look at the folders, you can tell that those are less transparent than they were before. That's just a small change that I noticed, but I wanted to share with you guys. Also, when you do slide down to access the Spotlight search page, you can see that there's not that animation that was found in Beta 3. Now the text just stays in the same spot versus sliding over and the cancel button was added as well. And along with that you will notice that the animations throughout your device are a lot more snappy and fast than they were in the previous betas. For example there is no more lag when you swipe down on the spotlight search page like there was before. Next up is Siri. If you open up the Siri section and then click on the question mark in the bottom left of Siri, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the next screen you see, you will see a new question and answer section. From there, it will give you an idea of what generic questions Siri can answer. Now, I am using an iPod Touch right now, but in the phone app, there were some minor tweaks as well. The call button was redesigned, as well as the answer slash decline buttons when you're getting a call. Now, before on iOS 7 betas, to access each different notification center page, we would have to click on the tab at the top of each page. Now, you can just slide over using a swipe gesture to access different pages in notification center. This is just a really handy way to navigate that I really enjoy. Now when you're in the messages app and you look at a group conversation from the list view, you will see abbreviations of the person's names. It will only show their first name and then the first letter of their last name, so it's a lot easier way to read who's in a total group conversation. And when you're texting just one person, their name will be abbreviated at the top of your conversation feed. You can see it will just have their first name and then the first letter of their last name, just like in the group conversations list view. Now in the music app, I am very glad that they did add this feature back. If you go to an artist and then you scroll up and swipe up just like you would be accessing spotlight search, you can see the search bar in music, but then you also see a shuffle all songs button. Clicking that will of course shuffle all the songs that that artist has created that you see on your device. And in the reminders app, a new search bar was added. To access it, you just have to swipe down just like all the other gestures to access search in iOS 7 and you will see the search bar pop up. And from there, of course, you can search whatever you want to through the reminders app. Now, as you may know in the settings app, you can go layers deep and just clicking on option after option after option and clicking on different tabs and you'll be very deep into the settings app. Well, in iOS 7, Apple introduced a new feature that allows you to use gestures to go back in settings. You can see it's a lot more easy to navigate now, and by just swiping from the left of my screen onto the right, it will take me back to the previous screen. In the new stand app, there has been some minor UI changes, just like there has been in the past couple of iOS 7 betas. And in Safari, when you do click on the bookmarks icon at the bottom of your screen, you will have redesigned icons for the tab bar at the top of your device. Now you can't swipe or anything like in Notification Center, but their icons have been redesigned and they're definitely different than they were before. So guys, those are most of the changes found in iOS 7 Beta 4. If you have enjoyed it, I would appreciate it if you did click that like button. And if you are interested in more iOS 7 content, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to be notified when I upload more videos. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next one.